Hi, everyone. It's Carol here, the founder of the Sleep Success Academy. And I wanted to welcome you to my YouTube channel where I like to share some education, some stuff I learned, some tips and tricks in order to help you create the better sleep that you deserve. Everyone is capable of this. Sometimes it's just that our limiting belief, our mindsets are getting in the way. Other times it's our emotional well-being, which includes the state of our nervous system and then the emotions that we feel or that we've repressed. And then sometimes it's our behaviors that gets in the way of, of better sleep. So in today's video, I really thought that I would talk about the, the five-day optimal sleep challenge I had done almost three years ago. It's on my YouTube channel already, but I will provide the link in the description below so that you can go and rewatch these. Because in this uh, challenge, when I did this three years ago, I really wanted to help people be able to create a uncomplicated, easy bedtime routine so that they could teach their body how to fall asleep quickly and easily. And there are five days, five videos for you to watch, but they're small and most of them include a PDF with it, which you can find the PDF actually in the description of that video. So if you are not already subscribed to my YouTube channel, please do this right now. So then you'll be notified when I post another video. So hit the subscribe button here. And at the same time, if you know someone who is struggling with sleep, that is having a hard time getting their sleep under control and that would benefit from these video, please share with them these videos so that they can start making changes in their lives that will improve the quality of their sleep. And once we sleep better, then we can start doing the things that we really want to do in life, like hanging out with our friends or getting a better job or spending more time with our kids or even just feeling alive because we don't feel any of that when we're sleep deprived. I know I was there and life is so different today because of knowing what I know. And this is my whole intention behind this YouTube channel is to share with people what I've, I've learned through my journey to better sleep. Let's talk about this challenge. So it's five days. Day one, uh, when you go look at the video, it's choosing the perfect bedtime hour. And so I talk about it here. I have it listed on my screen. If you're seeing me look down, I'm just kind of reading what it says. So choosing the perfect bedtime hour is on day one. And so we really discover how to work out the perfect bedtime in order to get the amount of sleep that you need. And for everybody, that will be a different amount of hours, a different time to bed, a different wake up time, but how can you personalize this for yourself? So there's some tips and tricks in day one to teach you that. Day two, we're talking about setting a get ready for bed alarm. I wish I could take the credit for this. I can't. I had heard, uh, so I don't know if you know Brendan Burchard, he's a high performance coach. His wife actually in something that I was listening to about them had said how she sets herself a bedtime alarm. We set an alarm to get up in the morning, but we never think of setting an alarm before we go to bed. And so this is just steps on how you would calculate when to set a bedtime alarm so that you can just, if you're caught up in something, you can stop doing what you're doing and then start your evening routine so you can learn to calm your nervous system, teach your body that it's getting close to bedtime and really have more success in falling asleep easily because you are sticking to a routine and you're doing that because you can set a bedtime alarm. That's day two. Day three, we talk about clearing your mind before your head hits the pillow. So I teach you in this a simple technique to clear your mind before bed so that you so that you don't get woken up through the night with the thoughts of what's left to do on my list um, or any anything else that wakes you up through the night. It's usually because we have so much to do or we're ruminating on stuff from the past. Uh, so uh, teaching you a simple technique in day three on how to put the day to rest and not think about all those thoughts so that you can sleep through the night. Day four, we talk about calming the nervous system before bed. If I was to guess on the number one reason that people aren't sleeping is because there's some activation or some dysregulation in their nervous system that is keeping them awake at night. Even when they feel calm, some people say, but I feel so calm, Carol. Well, that's the functional freeze that is laid on top of that sympathetic fight or flight energy. And so there's still some dysregulation underneath there. So I teach you in day four, this technique, external orienting tapping that you can start adding to your daily routine so that you can learn to calm your nervous system so that it doesn't affect your sleep at night. And the last one is to write down 
what you are grateful for before bed. So this one I do a little bit different in the Better Sleep community. I, we actually talk about what our gains are as opposed to our gratitude, because when we list our gains, it provides gratitude and it gives us confidence also of how much we can accomplish. But these videos were done three years ago and I still am a true believer in feeling gratitude, but I also know that sometimes gratitude is hard to feel when there's so much other guck there. So instead, if we focus on our gains, on how much we have accomplished or on what was possible that we did, then we can start having gratitude just flow easier. Uh, so that's one little thing that I would probably say different today, but at the same time, it's still a very helpful and useful video. So those are the five days. Uh, so in the description below here in this video, go ahead and watch each day. I would love to hear your comments on if this actually helped you create a better sleep routine for yourself. I know I've had emails from people that say, you know, just by being consistent with my bedtime and my wake up time, I've changed my whole life. And I agree with that because when we can be more consistent, if possible, because I know not everybody has a job that allows that or have other circumstances that are happening. But for the most part, most of us can be pretty scheduled or consistent with our sleep schedule. So finding that out and how do I then manage my evening so that my nervous system is not so activated so I can go to sleep easier and faster. So that's the optimal sleep assessment. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to email me at support at sleepsuccessacademy.com. And at the same time, visit our website. You might find other interesting stuff on there. And the website is just sleepsuccessacademy.com. That's it. Bye.